right? Like the, the idea of it sounded cool and I got there and yeah. What's going on guys? Before we get to today's video, guess what? Rob's wearing a beanie inside. Why would he do that? Well, he's promoting the fact that he has beanies. We're doing an adventure drives trip up to the ice hotel. So checking off some bucket list stuff up in Canada. We're going to check out Montreal. We're going to go skating through a forest, ice skating through a forest, not on a rink, through a forest. That's cool. We're going to do sled dogs. We're doing all sorts of fun stuff up there. It is a three night trip. And if you buy a beanie, which I've made 250 of those, and surprisingly, most of you guys must live in a warm climate because they don't sell like the other stuff I've ever sold. So there's about 150 beanies left. No matter what happens, whether they sell or not, I'm going to pull a winner this coming Saturday. So it's your last couple of days to buy them, but your odds are terrific. You can come up and join us on the trip. I'm going to pay for your flights, hotel, food, everything like that. You're all covered. Or you could just go sign up for the trip and come. There's a couple of spots left. We did this very last minute. It's going to be a small, intimate, fun trip. Uh, no car rentals are required, nothing like that. You could just come and have the time of your life for a couple of days. And if you don't win and you don't want to sign up and you do take part in this, at the end of the day, you still got a beanie. And they're nice, right? They're like fleece lined. Look, my keeps hair restoration under there. But they're nice. So you can't go wrong. So link in the description. Check them out. All right, guys, Rob Ferretti here. And if you're new to the channel, well, I like cars. If you're familiar with the channel and you've seen my videos over the last, just say, 20 years, you'll understand that I enjoy speed and I've experienced it in virtually every facet that wheels have to offer, right? I've driven Formula One cars at Coda in the rain at 300 kilometers an hour. That was slightly terrifying, but awesome. I've driven the Koenigseggs. I've driven NASCARs. I mean, I've driven all sorts of crazy stuff. And I have finally found my limit. And when I say I found my limit, I am a, I love speed, I love wheels, but I am not the guy who's out to hurt myself. I'm not the guy who's gonna strap himself to a rocket, launch himself up in the desert and pull a parachute. It's not my thing. Like I'm not gonna go bike on the top of a mountain where I fall off and I'm dead. I'm not interested in anything like that, but I do like speed. I do like going fast. I do like G-forces. Until I ran into the guys at Flash Motors who found my limit. Now, these guys brought me out to Las Vegas to highlight their controllers and hyper scooters that they make, which are scooters that go 80 miles an hour, right? Like the, the idea of it sounded cool. And I got there and yeah, I, I, I totally bitched out. All right, guys, what's up? Rob Ferretti here from CES, and I'm here in the Flash Motors booth, and I'm going to show you an 80 mile an hour scooter. Now, think about that. 80 miles an hour. You've been on a Lime scooter before, most of us. You're doing 18, and you're like, I'm going to die. This is four times faster. And this is what it looks like. It's not your typical scooter. So, this is their Infinity X Hyper Scooter. And you can see it is made of carbon fiber and then like aircraft grade materials. This is a $12,000 scooter. And if you look, you have brake rotors on both sides of each wheel because you're going 80 miles an hour. So you have an individual caliper and rotor on both sides, front and back. So there's one there, one there. And this is not for the faint of heart, right? Like this is a professional grade racing scooter and not what you take to go get groceries. Now, this is collapsible. This is just a little uh, thing for a water bottle here that can come off if you want for whatever weight savings. That handle will turn, collapse it so you can move it around, but this thing will hold all the weight you throw at it. Uh, they had a 220 kilogram guy jumping up and down. Um, but you can see everything about this scooter and they just gave one away. I did not win it, but we'll see what we can do there. I may need one of these in my life. If you can imagine standing on this and winging it down the road at 80 miles an hour, get, it'll school your Miatas and Mustangs and everything in a, in a drag race or at least an eighth mile. And it's 12 grand. I mean, if you look at the tires, these serious tires. 
So we're gonna get these outside. I'm gonna try not to die, but they're gonna let me rip around here. We've got some other, let's just say influential people here. We've got uh, MMA fighters, we've got uh, professional scooter racers, we've got parkour guy over here. And we've all been here checking out Flash Motors, checking out the scooters, and they've got these controllers here, which can take other scooters, and we're gonna go test these out. You could take other scooters and make them faster. Think of it like a, a tuning software or, um, or an ECU swap to uh, manipulate other scooters and get them to a higher potential than they are sold to you as. So if you can't afford a $12,000 scooter and you just want to make yours more badass, uh, Flash Motors has you covered. We're going to go out. We're going to try not to hurt myself. And we're going to have a good time and do some Vegas things. Stay tuned. So now we've got the opportunity to go out and I'm realizing these other influencers and everything like that, they're scooter influencers, right? And Scooter Gang comes full leathers, right? Like full leathers, knee pads, elbow pads, helmets, like, like pretty much like a Hans device. And I'm like, I've never gone over 20 miles an hour on a Lime scooter. And even then I felt like I was gonna die. So for me to get on this scooter and just be like, I got this no good is gonna come from this. Like I just had, you know, you get that bad feeling like something bad is gonna happen if I try doing this. That's essentially where we were at. And uh, I decided, decided like, you know what? Another scenario, another place, proper safety equipment, proper venue. I'm more inclined to get on this thing, but I don't need to be the next uh, internet meme launching this thing into the stratosphere and crashing into a wall because the thing's going 80 miles an hour. So I left it to the, uh, the scooter gang if you wanna see the thing in motion. Check them out. Uh, Rob Ferretti wanted to enjoy his trip to Vegas and doing so was not going to put me on the back of that scooter. So there's my limit. And, and I know it's easy for you guys on the other side of the screen to be like, dude, I totally would have done that. I would do that. You have your chance, right? Click the link in the description. You can buy your own $12,000 scooter. And think about this. You could do, you get a speeding ticket. Like legitimately, you can go down the highway at this and be passing cars and trucks. It's, it's like incredibly fast for two wheels and a little platform to be raging along at that speed. I understand riding a motorcycle, but a motorcycle is a lot more like prodigious, right? You got a lot more around you than just the scooter and the handles. The position, I don't know. The, the, to me, I, I hit my limit. What is cool is if you don't go full throttle and you just want to be the guy at the racetrack at Daytona, whatever, and, and zip your way around the facility, it looks great. You're going to impress everybody with it. Hopefully nobody's going to be like, let me try and boom, crash. Who knows? Uh, to me, it seems unsafe. But at the end of the day, it's whatever your risk tolerance is. It's great because it's something that also folds up. So if you're going to go, say, to a body shop and pick up your car, you don't need a ride because you can literally fold it and put it in the trunk of your car. Uh, you can't do that with a, a bigger e-bike or something like that. So if you're interested, check out Flash Motors. I want to thank them for having me to Vegas and showing me their products and legitimately finding out my limits as far as what I'm comfortable doing on two wheels or four. And uh, they have laid down enough of a gauntlet that I was like, mm, good. So Rob Ferretti, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. If you're first time to the channel, then where have you been my whole life? Welcome. If not, uh, good seeing you, good having you back, and I'll see you tomorrow.